In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a custom countdown in a channel on your Discord server. And if what you learned in this video was of any value, please give us a super thanks and thank you very much for supporting our channel. Let's start with the tutorial. So basically, there are different ways that you can format a date in a text channel on your Discord server. So for example, this one is a countdown, which it's called relative time. Basically, I set the time and then it counts to it like a few seconds ago, meaning that the time that I put in, it's already passed and you can format it in different ways. You can have the long date you can have a short day with the day and only the numbers or anything and if someone puts their mouse and hovers on top of the date it will give you the full actual date that it was in there i'm going to leave a link in the description with how to format them all here's the what you were going to find in that link basically you have all the ways that you can format the time the relative time is the one that changes as the time goes by like four minutes ago for example um, you have all the other formats which are um, also you have an example right next to it so let's do relative time for example and let's go ahead and copy this part right here and we're going to let me just delete this real quick yep and let's go ahead and paste it right here so this number in the middle you might be like what is that it's called an epoch time it's like time since the epoch it's like a specific time that was set out and like how many seconds have passed since that time so that number you can go to epochconverter.com it's uh i'm gonna leave the link in the description as well and you can get the number specifically for example the current unix epoch time right now is this i'm gonna copy this number right and if I go ahead and paste it right here, let's just add another 30 seconds. So 50 times 80, I'm just gonna add 80 and I'm gonna send that in a few seconds. You see like that's gonna happen in a few seconds. If I do the same thing and I add, let's say more, a few hundred seconds. So let's do 500 then you see in four minutes so if you want to find a specific date then you can just change it right here let's say um, year month day hour 14 34 whatever like if i want to say tomorrow right i'm just gonna click human date stamp and i'm gonna copy this number and i'm going to Control z to get that again i'm gonna paste this number and then i send it it says in a day basically like tomorrow so um just copy this over i'm gonna leave it in the description as well so you can just copy and paste it and uh, yeah that's how you can make a custom countdown i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave us a super thanks like and subscribe to the channel have a wonderful rest of the day my friends stay safe up there <laughs>